become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. So how to select the standard flange? Selection of the standard flanges. So what is the procedure to select any standard flange? First of all, we have to identify the size of the flange based upon the nominal pipe size. Let's say I want to have a standard flange for 200 NB pipe. Correct? So we have to have that 200 NB means 8 inch. So NPS 8 inch is the standard size of that flange. What is the size? 8 inch or we can say DN 200. So there are two standards which are available for the selection of flange. One is B16.5, another is B16.47. B16.5 is applicable to the flanges which are having the size less than or equal to 24 inches. NPS size, nominal pipe size has to be less than or equal to 24 inches. So if your standard flange is having a size less than 24 inch or equal to 24 inch, then we can select that flange with the help of ASMA B16.5. Five, and if the flange size is more than 24 inch, then B16.5 doesn't have the sizes mentioned, or that does not cover those flanges. For that, we have to go for B16.47 type of flanges. So below 24 inch or equal to 24 inch B16.5, and above 24 inch we have to go to B16.47. So first we have to identify the size. Then we have to select which standard to be go for B16.5 or B16.5. 47. After selection of this standard, we have to go to ASME section 8 division 1 table U3 for the correct addition of the respective standard. B16.5 can have 2019-2020 edition which is available in the market. But whether this standard uh, edition has been considered while giving it in table U3, that is more important because this ASME section at division 1 always give in table U3 what is the reference standard edition according to which the rules have been adopted in section at division 1. So what is going to be there? We first have to check that as per table U3 what is the 16.5's edition that we need to follow and what is the 16.47's edition that we need to follow. So let's say we are going in ASME section at division 1. In that, we have to go to introduction, then table U3. You can see over here, there is a standard reference and the edition has been mentioned. Table U3, year of the acceptance edition for the reference standard in this division. Now, we are going to see B16.5. So, here we can see five flanges and flange fittings from half inch to 24 inch. B16.5 and what is the edition that we have to follow 2013 there could be 2019 edition available that will not be going to use when we are going to use ASME section and division 1 2019 edition in 2019 edition 2013 B16.5 edition has been mentioned so we have to open B16.5 2013 edition only no other edition we supposed to follow that is for B16.5 if we are using B16.47, you can see over here, the large diameter steel flanges from NPS 26 inches to NPS 60 inches. So about 24 inches from NPS 26 to 60 inches, B16.47 edition is 2017. Latest edition could be anything, but we have to follow 2017 edition. If the code writes here as latest edition, then we can use those editions. But whenever it is mentioned the respective edition, we have to follow the same edition. So for B16.5, we have to follow 2013 edition. And for B16.47, we have to follow 2017 edition only. So that's why identify the correct edition of the respective standard to be followed as per table U3. Then Identify the MOC and go to the respective pressure temperature rating in the respective standard. So if we have identified that B16.5 is our standard, then based upon the material of construction, we have to go to the respective 
MOC table, and from that we have to choose the correct class of the plant as per our design pressure requirement. As per the pressure temperature rating, select the correct class of the plant. So this is the procedure what we have to follow if we have to select a standard plant. 